animal kingdom so far we have studied a different phyla since the beginning from phylum porifera phyla phylum silentrita tenophora platelmintis annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata hemichordata and chordata so these are the different phyla uh, which uh, we have come across and again we have seen that in each uh, phylum there is a distinguishing character however there are certain common characters uh, among the different phyla take for example it may be bilaterally symmetrical it may be radially symmetrical it may be diploblastic triploblastic and the one about uh, uh, hermaphrodites and fertilization uh, which is internal or external so such are uh, Uh, certain general characters which we can mention uh, in addition to that uh, there are certain uh, distinguishing characters characters which are specific to the phylum only just for example if you take in the phylum porifera as a just to recall what we have studied so far in the phylum porifera the presence of uh, water transport system or the canal system and uh, the presence of the collar cells choanocytes and also the spicules which are present so all uh, then the presence of ostia all over the body of the this uh, 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 animal so that is one uh, character then uh, the ostia which uh, receive the water from the surrounding that water enters into the through the ostia into a cavity which is called as spongocele and it goes out through a common opening called as osculum then that is a, uh, under this we come across all the sponges like a sicon and uh, uh, this uh, uh other spongilla and other many other examples then if you come under cylindrata uh, the specific character is the presence of needoblast cells so they are uh, helping in uh, capturing the food material they help in the defense mechanism and they help to uh, attach to a particular uh, part in the uh, habitat now this uh, is a important character of that uh, this uh, phylum cylindrata then uh, if you come to the next phylum tenophora so these are exclusively marine animals and commonly they are called as a sea walnuts or comb jellies so presence of uh, a ring of uh, cilia eight rows of uh, cilia uh, that is an important character of this uh, uh, phylum uh, tenophora that is a uh, Uh, important example uh, then uh, 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 the examples uh, we come across like uh, uh, pseudobranchia and uh, many others then if you come to the next phylum uh, that is phylum platelminthes <coughs> so phylum platelminthes flat worms liver fluke so there the uh, cavity is uh, Uh, that is they are a uh, coelomates there is no particular coelom in the this uh, phylum platelminthes then another another important character is presence of the flame cells which help in the excretion and osmoregulation so that means flame cells are characteristic feature of phylum platelminthes only and other uh, characters uh, we are coming across like a triploblastic and uh, bilaterally symmetrical fertilization internal and all that so they are the other general characters so in this liver fluke tapeworm uh, are the examples then if you come to the next uh, phylum phylum ascalminthes pseudocoelomates so this is the uh, only phylum which is having a false coelom the coelom which does not have mesoderm in its uh, coelomic cavity then the Uh, other characters body uh, covered by a thick resistant cuticle and uh, syncytial epidermis and uh, it is made up of muscular layer 
that is another important character so mouth and anus are present so there is no uh, digestive system respiratory system and excretory system uh, then uh, there is a sexual dimorphism in this phylum we can differentiate the male and female animal by its uh, external features by its morphological appearance that is the character then phylum annelida earthworm is the example so important character is metamerically segmentation so the, there is metamerism phenomenon in this the body is segmented and uh, true segmentation uh, which is externally and internally that is the important character of this then the other characters if you come across uh, specific characters uh, the parapodia and uh, cetae are the organs of locomotion and in addition to that nephridia are the organs of excretion so that is uh, the just uh, some specific characters to mention so earthworm leech uh, are the examples of this nerys which is also called as a clam worm then arthropoda here we come all the insects are included under this phylum and it is the largest phylum in the animal kingdom which includes the large number of species so uh, actually in the arthropoda only insects uh, constitute about 1.1 million number of species so that means nearly uh, 1.5 million of uh, species we come across in this uh, phylum arthropoda and uh, the body is segmented but not metamerism there are uh, appendages which uh, are having uh, jointed uh, appendages uh, then uh, the head is divided into uh, sorry the body is divided into head thorax and abdomen so head thorax and abdomen are the three regions and there is a pair of antenna in the head region which acts as uh, feelers means the, it has the power of sensation that is the characteristic features then the respiration takes place by gills book lungs and the trachea then excretion by malpighian tubules that is the important character of this uh, phylum arthropoda so in this we come across all insects and uh, scorpion then uh, prawn then crab all these are the examples of spider they are the examples of phylum arthropoda then if you come to mollusca uh, snail is the example the main character is body is divided into head visceral hump and muscular foot and uh, near the visceral hump there is a region called as mantle in between the visceral hump and the mantle there is a mantle cavity and uh, the uh, mantle secretes the calcareous shell which is the characteristic feature of this phylum mollusca the body is actually soft covered by a calcareous shell the head has a pair of tentacles which are uh, uh, sensitive in function and then uh, other characters uh, is uh, the respiratory organs are uh, usually tinidia like that uh, the other characters then if you come to the next phylum phylum acanodermata after mollusca acanodermata is exclusively marine in this we come across the starfish and uh, brittle star however in mollusca we come across cuttlefish octopus and uh, snails in uh, acanodermata exclusively marine animals and uh, these uh, acanodermata are uh, having radially symmetrical but uh, the larvae are bilaterally symmetrical so in the previous phylum since from uh, annelida or platelmintis they are all bilaterally symmetrical annelida arthropoda mollusca but in uh, this uh, acanodermata the body is radially symmetrical adults are radially symmetrical but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical that is a characteristic feature then the uh, skeleton body skeleton is made up of uh, uh, calcium uh, calcareous ossicles that is the important characteristic feature of this phylum another important characteristics is a water vascular system is present in this phylum so it helps in locomotion respiration and also in the 
transport of the food material. That is the function of this water vascular system. And uh, other uh, uh, characters, that is, uh, they are uh, sexes are separate, internal, uh, external fertilization, they are all uh, common general characters. So, starfish, uh, brittle star, then uh, uh, sea urchin, uh, sea cucumber are the examples of this phylum, Echinodermata. Then hemichordata, the important character is, body is divided into proboscis, collar and trunk. That is the important character of this phylum, hemichordata. And uh, these are worm-like animals. So in this we come across uh, uh, certain examples like uh, balenoglossus. So the respiration is by gills. That is the common uh, character. Then phylum chordata is the next phylum, which is the evolved advanced phylum. This phylum uh, is having three important characters. That means the presence of notochord is one character. The presence of uh, pharyngeal gill, uh, gill slits and uh, they are bilaterally symmetrical uh, then uh, triploblastic uh, animals. So that is, uh, there is also a nerve cord which is dorsal in position and hollow. So dorsal hollow nerve cord, then the notochord, then bilaterally symmetrical animals, then the, this is the general character, presence of pharyngeal gill slits uh, is another important character. Now this uh, phylum chordata is uh, divided into three sub phylum. Eurochordata, cephalochordata, and uh, vertebrata, subphylum. Based on the nature of the notochord, these are, or uh, this uh, phylum is uh, divided. So, this notochord, uh, when it is present only in the tail region of the animal, it is called, uh, uh, means they are the eurochordata. So, some phylum Eurochordata is characterized by the presence of notochord only in the tail region. Cephalochordata, the notochord is present, is uh, extending from the head to the tail. So, from the tail it extends to the head, uh, from the head to the tail it is extending and it is present throughout its lifetime. That is the uh, sub phylum uh, Cephalochordata. Then uh, the third subphylum, vertebrata, which is advanced. Here actually uh, the notochord is uh, transformed or it uh, develops into the vertebral column or the backbone. So we belong to this uh, subphylum, vertebrata. So all uh, advanced animals, they belong to this uh, subphylum, vertebrata. So this uh, vertebrata includes seven classes which uh, the uh, fish, amphibians and uh, reptiles, birds and mammals. Fishes are again classified into three groups. Class uh, Cyclostomata, class Chondrichthys, class Ostrichthys are the three classes of fishes which are commonly called as Pisces. So fishes uh, uh, which are without jaws jawless fishes, they are having a circular mouth, they are belonging to class cyclostomata. Then uh, these uh, uh, cyclostomata uh, means fishes, they are of course without jaws, they are commonly called as the jawless fishes, just there is a circular opening uh, which uh, functions like the mouth and there are no fins uh, which uh, and no scales on the surface of the body. So there are no scales, no fins and uh, uh, these are the important characters of class Cyclostomata. And they are mostly marine in the habitat. Uh, that is the important characteristic of this class Cyclostomata. So in this uh, we come across the hamprey fish and the hagfish. So the hagfish and uh, lamprey fish are the examples of phylum Cyclostomata. Then file, uh, this class uh, chondrichthys, cartilaginous fishes. So in cartilaginous fishes, uh, shark is the one example. So shark 
electric ray fish sting rays are the examples so the main character is they are exclusively marine that means uh, they are mostly found in marine only but not in fresh water and uh, if you come to the body character the body is uh, the body skeleton is made up of cartilage that means no bones and the mouth is ventrally situated that is another important character and there are gills which are not covered by any uh, cover or any uh, protective nature and that means uh, there is no operculum in other words and then the fins if you come there are fins present but the tail fin or the caudal fin which is called as it is heterocircle in nature that means it is unequal that is the important character of this class chondrich thighs then if you come to the class ostrich thighs bony fishes so the uh, these are found both in the marine and as well as fresh water that means uh, there are some examples in fresh water some in marine sea water then the, the body skeleton is made up of bone that means uh, the bone is the skeleton of this uh, fish then if you, if you come to other characters the mouth is uh, terminal situated the whereas in cartilage fish mouth is ventral in position in case of uh, bony fish the mouth is terminal then other characters gills are protected by a structure called as operculum so operculum is the protective part of the gills and uh, there is air bladder present inside the body which we cannot see outside so that helps in the buoyancy of the animal as the bones which are heavy for the weight of the uh, fish so it uh, 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 helps in the buoyancy to remain the animal near the water surface that is the presence of air bladder then uh, the scales which are present these scales are uh, cycloid or tenoid scales but in cordage thighs there were placoid scales so the scales are protective in nature actually but the nature and the structure are different placoid scales in cartilage fish then the tenoid scales or cycloid scales in the uh, bony fish that is uh, the the nature of the scales between the cartilage fish and the bony fish then if you come to the caudal fin uh, that means uh, tail fin the tail fin is uh, equal in the uh, size that means it is homo circle so that is the difference between uh, the uh, different uh, groups of fishes then if you come to the next class that is class amphibia is one class then class reptiles class is then class mammalia so these are the other classes in the subphylum vertebrata so three classes they include the fish so that is uh, one uh, uh, group of animals amphibia reptiles eels and mammals so in amphibia we come across uh, the frog example so just uh, if you remember the frog we can just recall the characters of the class amphibia so amphibians are living both on land and water that means they are terrestrial and aquatic both then other characters when we come to see so the body is uh, uh, what is called as cold blooded animals they are called as so cold blooded animals uh, they are also called as
po kilothermic thermic animals so this uh, po kilothermic animals cold blooded animals they are called as so cold blooded animals means they can change the body temperature according to the environment so up till uh, reptiles you will come across cold blooded so these two are cold blooded these two are warm blooded animals so just uh, uh, in uh, comparison with this classes uh, when we uh, see so that means warm blooded they are also called as homeothermic animals so cold blooded already i said they are changing their body temperature according to the environment so uh, for example frog if you take uh, the body temperature is not constant it will change according to the temperature if the temperature is very cold it will increase its body temperature and uh, it will escape from that uh, severe uh, low temperature suppose if it is very hot take for example in summer if the temperature is very warm hot uh, temperature it will reduce its body temperature it will uh, decrease its body temperature when it decreases its body temperature that uh, hot uh, temperature will not affects on the body so like that to escape the environmental temperature to avoid the environmental temperature so these uh, cold blooded animals even the fishes are also cold blooded animals so these cold blooded animals are having that uh, nature then uh, the body frog if you come to that so the body is divided into head and uh, trunk that is another important character then the there are usually two pairs of uh, limbs that is another important character so most of the amphibians are having two pairs of limbs but there are some few exceptional animals in this group which do not have limbs so that means uh, they are not having any limbs in their body so there are some limbless amphibians and uh, for example to mention that so each the opis is one animal which is limbless so it is a animal which is just like earthworm but somewhat uh, uh, broader than that so it is having a cylindrical body but not long as that of the earthworm so this uh, each the opis commonly lives in the sandy soils soil which is mostly sandy and uh, there you will find this uh, uh, animal each the opis for example in our state also in the southern parts of the uh, our state we find this uh, example so this uh, two limbs uh, two pairs of limbs is the important character and then uh, there is a structure which is called as tympanum which acts as the ear that is another character so tympanum is one uh, example or sorry part which helps in its uh, uh, character then other characters if you come across that uh, so as in case of fishes there are no scales so scales are absent in amphibians but in scales are present in fish that is bony fish and cartilage fish again in the jawless fishes there are no scales so in the, this the skin is almost moist always it is moist which helps in respiration so respiration takes place through gills then the lungs and skin in this animal there are gills there are uh, other animals which are having gills but in frog actually respiration takes place through skin lungs and buccal cavity so the skin is moist in frog because for respiration so it absorbs the uh, dissolved oxygen present in the water so when the frog is inside water it will absorb the dissolved oxygen from the water when the frog is on land terrestrial in the habitat 
so then it will respire through the nostrils and uh, with the help of the lungs it will uh, undergo respiration that is the other character of class uh, uh, amphibia then if you come to the other the heart is three chambered here here heart is three chambered so there is a this is a some general character not a specific character and uh, another important uh, character of this is there is a structure which is called as cloaca in this so cloaca is an opening at the posterior end of the animal where it is a common opening where the the anus the uh, that means the ureter the respir- uh, this the reproductive system all the three uh, come and open at a common point it is called as cloaca so in if the anus is separate if the ureter uh, opening of the ureter is different and also if the respiratory system has an another separate opening it is not cloaca when all the three are having a common opening so that common chamber like structure or a small common opening is called as cloaca so like that uh, this uh, uh, class amphibia includes uh, frog then the salamander toads then uh, each the opus which is a limbless amphibians so these uh, uh, limbless amphibians uh, they are sometimes called as uh, sicilians also they are called as another common word for that uh, group of animals uh, in which include uh, each the opus which is a part of amphibia so this is about a uh, class amphibia then class reptiles which includes uh, lizard then uh, snakes uh, then uh, crocodile here also they are uh, cold blooded animals the same as that so here the uh, body is divided into head trunk and tail so there is also a tail region and also there are two pairs of limbs except snakes so the lizard the crocodile they are having two pairs of limbs here also except this uh, group of uh, uh, the sicilians the remaining are having two pairs of limbs the same thing here except the snakes different kinds of snakes are there except the snakes all are having two pairs of limbs the body is having no scales also but the body is having some uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, scales uh, but they are very hard dry scales they are cornified scales so these the scales are what are called as scutes so if you observe the surface of the lizard or even snake there are kind of scales which are different from the scales of fish cartilage fish and bony fish so these scales are dry cornified and uh, uh, these scales uh, they are called as uh, uh, scutes or uh, uh, dry scales they are usually uh, referred as so these uh, uh, scales uh, are present in the reptilia and the tympanum is present as usual here also which uh, acts as the ear uh, uh, functioning of the ear then the heart also is a three chambered same character but except in the crocodile it is four chambered so generally we say that reptiles are having three chambered amphibians are having three chambered but uh, crocodile is one exceptional which is having four chambered uh, heart then as usual they are also cold blooded animals and uh, uh, then the body is uh, covered by uh, scales and these are egg laying animals that means they are oviparous but uh, frogs they are uh, not included under oviparous or viviparous but however the uh, eggs are laid by the female frog in the water and they fertilize in the water itself 
so that means uh, so these are uh, egg laying animals so they lay eggs so in this we include uh, we come across the examples like uh, lizard uh, then even uh, this chameleon tortoise and even turtles and all types of snakes they come under this uh, group uh, class reptilia then if you come to the class aves so all birds are included un under this group so that means we have to study only about the characters of the birds so first of all they are warm blooded animals and uh, the body uh, is having the head neck and uh, uh, abdomen then the jaws are absent instead of that uh, the head is having a beak uh, but uh, without teeth there are no teeth in the beak and uh, another important character is the body is covered with feathers the body is covered with feathers which acts as a insulation for the body and uh, these feathers they also help to uh, and include they enclose the air for the flight purposes then actually here there are also two pairs of limbs but uh, the four limbs which are there that is the front limbs they are modified into wings so actually we see only one pair in the uh, this bird but uh, structurally there are two pairs of limbs but one pair is modified into wings now the other pair helps for uh, uh walking and for uh, uh, grabbing the uh, prey or for uh, grasping any objects that is the hind limbs they help so these hind limbs uh, they are shifted forward and to balance the body that is also another character so another important character in this is uh, the bones are called as pneumatic bones pneumatic bones means the bones are filled with the air sacs so there are air spaces so that to make the animal light or uh, reduce the weight of the body so pneumatic bones are the important characteristics of this uh, class aves then other characters if you come across so aves uh, they are also having the bones with and the digestive system which is present it is having additional chambers for a, uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, this uh, storage of the food material so the, in the crop gizzard there is an additional structure and then so air sacs are present in this to store air inside the body and the heart is a four chambered here also next four chambered heart we come across in that phylum uh, mammalia so these are the important characters of uh, class uh, aves or uh, class uh, this uh, birds which include uh, so the warm blooded animals presents uh, absence of uh, mouth where the beak is present without the teeth feathers cover the body uh, which acts as the insulating material uh, they maintain the body temperature so warm blooded means it is opposite to the cold blooded cold blooded means they can change the body temperature warm blooded means they cannot change the body temperature they maintain constant body temperature so we are inclu included under warm blooded animals so that means uh, our body temperature is 36.6 degree centigrade it is constant whether the environment is cold or hot our body temperature is constant so we cannot change the body temperature that is warm blooded animals or homeothermic animals so under reptiles uh, we include uh, sorry under uh, uh, class aves all birds uh, are included under this uh, and uh, other examples are uh, for example the ostrich peacock penguins or uh, examples of this uh, class uh, aves then lastly class uh, mammalia which we include under this so presence of the mammary gland 
is the characteristic feature of this the skin is uh, curved by hairs and there are glands in the skin sweat glands sebaceous glands and like that now this uh, class mammalia so they are found in different types of habitats and uh, that means uh, uh, they are found arboreal they are found even in water uh, some mammals are found on land uh, like that so variety of habitats is the characteristic feature of this and presence of uh, a well developed ear lobe or which is called as pinna is the important characteristics feature of this that is another important uh, uh, character then uh, uh, there are uh, different types of uh, teeth heart is four chambered same so there are the teeth are well developed in the jaws so different types of teeth means uh, actually there are uh, four types of teeth like incisors canines premolars and molars and uh, that is uh, the important characteristic feature of the class uh, mammalia then uh, uh, respiration is by lungs so respiration is only by lungs and uh, these are viviparous so these are also oviparous birds are oviparous reptiles are oviparous but mammals are viviparous so viviparous means they give birth to the young ones oviparous means they lay eggs so all animals are viviparous but however there are some exceptional uh, which is which are oviparous also there are some exceptional examples for for example echidna is one example then the platypus is another example so with these two exceptions all mammals are viviparous uh, but generally we say that they are viviparous so this uh, respiration is by lungs and uh, even animals which are inside water they respire through lungs so the whales the dolphins they are all examples of uh, class mammalia so whales and dolphins they are having lungs and respire through lungs and uh, terrestrial animals mammals they are also having uh, uh, this but uh, uh, when we say that skin is covered by hair but we don't find hair on the surface of the whale and even the dolphins so there uh, instead of that uh, hairs are actually protective in function but instead of hair there in the there are those animals aquatic animals there is a thick flat lay, uh, a fatty layer so made up of fat tissue called as adipose tissue so that tissue is present there and it uh, is called as the blubber and it is protective in function so hairs are protective in function uh, so that is the example of uh, uh, this class uh, mammalia so in class mammalia uh, shrews uh, then uh, all uh, cattle like uh, uh, elephant uh, this monkey kangaroo uh, uh, whales uh, tigers they are all the examples of this uh, class mammalia so these are the seven classes under uh, phylum chordata so phylum chordata includes the seven classes three classes of uh, fishes then the class amphibia amphibians then the class reptiles then birds class aves mammals class uh, Uh, mammalia so that is about the phylum chordata and uh, uh, that is about the animal kingdom